Hi, it's time for Spider and Old Scooter again. Uh, this is the Internet of Things edition. I think I'll adjust the camera slightly. I hope you don't mind me working this uh, lit only by the screen affectation. I just noticed uh, as I was setting up and getting ready to turn on the lights that this way it looks like I have hair. The shadowing is such. Of course, I haven't seen me with hair for decades, so I hope it's not too dark or it's not dark enough or whatever the problem is. So uh, this is the Internet of Things um, game. I spent the afternoon with uh, uh, essentially the co-developer of this crazy thing, uh, uh, Roger Dahl, who's a technology electronics computer programming and so forth whiz. Knows lots of stuff about that. This is his camera I'm using. This is his other camera I'm using as a microphone. And we worked on editing all afternoon. But he also brought some stuff and showed me. And I'll tell you about it because it is a amazing new game. Spider Solitaire. <clears throat> the iMac version. The default that came on my iMac back in 2014. And it's become my favorite solitaire game. And I play it all the time. And I thought, oh, well, might as well share it. Um, and in the process, I talk about stuff, which I'm sure is just fascinating beyond belief. Although I have not gotten any calls from uh, 60 Minutes or anybody. By, by the way, today's 60 Minutes was all repeat. Good stuff, but repeats. They're in their early summer repeat phase. Okay, I've got two black jacks, two black queens. What more could a guy ask? Oh, well, we could ask the hush and just play. But you know, I almost never hush. It's uh, it's my compensation for doing this, for bringing you these fascinating games. Uh, you have to listen to me gabble on. You don't have to, of course, but I wish you would. So now I've got two black fours and a red a five. So this game will allow me to try. That's one move, two moves, three moves. Now, either of these nines to there. Let's try this one first. Queen. I don't actually need it right now, although I love cutting down. Gave away a dollar. All right. It's not going exactly the way I intended to, but it works out okay. So by doing a little restack like that, I've got four cards qualifying it to be called a stack, a jack stack. One of my favorite things to say. I don't have to do that. I'll just take it back. So far, I've spent $15 over the $50 house limit. I mean, house margin limit. This creature, this spider mac, this artificial intelligence, this over-the-top algorithm that she is. She's playing me a fool here. I can feel it in my bones. I think she reads in my mind, of course. In editing, which is a craft for nimbler minds than mine, but anyway, we were using a, uh, a program called, I always want to call it, I won't call it anything until I totally remember the right name, but it's an interesting editing program, and it's inexpensive. Free, maybe. a Freeware, I think it is. Spectacular, powerful editing equipment or software. And one of these days, I'll learn how to use it. My first objective is to go through all these games. I think they're 50 or something now. And um, pluck out the times that I explicate the powers of Spider-Mac. Talk about how she does what she does, what she does, etc., and scrunch it into a little piece and use that for the hi, welcome to our YouTube channel video. I don't know whether you ever noticed there is one, but uh, is this for new visitors or something like that? And I don't have anything in there to let them know what this silliness is. So with, oh, you're so slow when you're talking. With uh, Roger Dahl's help, I'm slowly learning to edit, and one of these days you'll see the, uh, well, you've already seen one low-level editing of mine, taking the middle out of the game. Should I do that? I shouldn't. Why did I do that? 
That happens all the time. I think I get subliminal suggestions from Spider Mac down there. And uh, she says, do this. And I, I just do it unthinkingly and put myself at a disadvantage. That's what happens when you play a psychic critter. I think I will restack that. Now I've got a 6 2 stack. That's almost a stack. This is a good stack, Jack 7. Got four cards, four deals to go. Close to punching through the thin blue line in two places. So, I'd say the estimate of the situation is less than terrible. Which is, as it describes, less than terrible. Every time I look at the monitor, which is kind of at the same place as the camera is, I see it looks like I have hair. Shoot, man. If I could market this look, I'd get witch. keep reading about guys getting witch. I guess these guys are getting rich who uh, are doing the razor blades. Highly marketed German manufactured razor blades. How do we bring this low price to you? We bought the factory. Great copy line. And since I don't shave much, I'm not too susceptible to their marketing, but it's darn good. What is the name of it? This is my greatest mental weaknesses. Thinking of proper nouns. Always has been. It's getting worse. <sighs> All right. I did stand up for John McCain's senior moment at the uh, Comey hearings. I wrote to the comments section of Breitbart that we shouldn't be too rough on John because he... But they don't like him over at Breitbart anyway. They literally say uh, he's a hero because he was captured and I prefer people who weren't captured. They just are quoting President Trump or then candidate Trump. Verbatim. Better than I did, I think. So we're into the fourth deal and things are looking less up. You're probably seeing something I'm not. That's my perpetual disclaimer. Oh, yeah, there's a little something. Not a world breaker, but a little something. So I'm going to go ahead and take another deal. Do, 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 do. The thing with the um, welcoming video is going to have music under it. It'd be kind of fun if I had a keyboard right here and you know, every time I made a move I could go do -do -do, do -do -do, and so forth. I may do that. I hear cringing. I don't see many movings. If I did this, not much would come of it. Should I do it anyway? Oh, why not? And this five, we'll go to that six. This would go here, but that would be non-productive. And heaven knows we don't want to be non-productive. Last deal. Still have not but one punched hole, and it's got a king in it, so it's not going anywhere. So there are a few moves. Are these two eights, which would be better? Got a red king showing, so I'll do this. Get out of here. So I can do that. And one of these sixes can go to that seven. That would be a four, five, six, seven. That looks kind of, oh, it is. It's the better one. Let's go right over there. Take that nine up to that ten. This is a little flurry of activity that frequently happens on the last deal. And that's why I call it the hospice deal. You never know what happen, is going to happen when someone is placed in hospice. My mother lived to 101 years old and had been in hospice since she was 99. And you have to keep qualifying that you're, you know, on your last legs. And she qualified for two years. So this last deal could go on for a long time. It won't, but that's where the analogy falls down. But there is sometimes a lot of activity in the last, uh, in the hospice round. But not today. 
So we uh, <clears throat> move out of the way. Let me see that number. Oh yeah, forty-seven. Well, that was actually a functional move, wasn't it? And I restack back there, and I can do that five. Well, it was just a little burst of activity there. That won't go anywhere, and that won't. I think I'm through again. Um. So that's that. It's been fun having hair for one night. It's easier than finding another silly hat to wear. Oh, I got lots of praise for my uh, my hairnet. If I were going to appear in public anytime soon, I would wear it and just watch people go. So. Well, it's been a joy talking to you. I'm glad I didn't bring up any news items to speak of. There weren't many. It's Sunday. As I said, 60 minutes is on repeats. Got pretty warm today in New Mexico, and nothing like, I guess, out in the Midwest and the East Coast. But uh, for the cool New, Mount, uh, New Mexico mountains, it was quite cuddly. Well... What more is there to say? Nothing. Good night.